Did the Israeli army commit war crimes in Gaza? The Palestinians say that's evidence from the shelling of a UN school full of refugees. Or the use of the incendiary white phosphorus. But now testimony has emerged from Israeli soldiers about the deliberate killing of civilians. The testimony is said to come from soldiers speaking at a military college. One said an officer gave orders for an elderly Palestinian woman to be shot and killed because she was walking a hundred metres from a house we'd commandeered. A commander allegedly told a mother and two children to leave their home, but forgot to tell the sharpshooter on the roof they'd let them go. He shot them straight away. We have decided to open an investigation, a thorough investigation, to check these matters. It's important for me to say that the IDF policy is to save lives on both sides of the border. You can't dismiss what we're talking about as a few bad seeds. It's clear at the very least you're talking about uh, certain norms of behavior that um, mid-level or high-level officers have communicated to the soldiers. The claim then is that the Israeli army's rules of engagement allowed soldiers to kill with impunity. That charge is unproven but all the more potent for having come from within the army's own ranks. For an Israeli army which prides itself on purity of arms, these allegations are a serious challenge. For Israel's critics, they are simply confirmation of what they've said all along about the Gaza offensive. The Advocate General, uh, Brigadier General Mandelblit in the IDF, instructed an opening of an investigation by the military police to check out those claims that were made a few weeks ago, actually, in a preparation program. We have received a letter explaining those claims. The Chief of Staff has received it a few weeks ago, and we found ourselves opening an investigation following this letter. And if this happened a few weeks ago, presumably your investigation is, is nearly complete? No, we, we, just, oh, we just decided to open an investigation uh, a few hours ago. The letter with the claims was received a few weeks ago. I see. So you've only launched an investigation because it's got into the media? No, of course not. The chief education officer met with the person that was uh, holding the uh, gathering in his uh, office and they talked and he got some more information. And after he re reviewed all the information, he decided to recommend to open an investigation. I see. When, when, when did you open it? Uh, a few hours ago. Right. And it was in this morning's paper. That's just a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. I see. And uh, how long will the investigation take? As long as we will need to, to take. You know, we can't really uh, estimate these kind of things. And will it be published, the findings of this investigation? Um, um, I can't guarantee you in 100% that everything will be published, but we have no interest in, in, in hiding anything from the public, so I assume that some things that we'll be able to publish, we will do so. As someone who is a member of the Israeli army, are you distressed that some of your colleagues are so upset with the orders they received, the terms of engagement they had, they're now thinking about what they did? Not at all. I'm proud to be a part of this organization. We did everything we could to prevent civilian casualties, and I know for a fact that the moral code of the IDF is a very high standard one, and we educate our soldiers to the highest morals. Doesn't sound like you need an investigation, then. Well, we are a learning organization, and since there were some claims made, we would like to check them out to see whether there is something behind it.